Hey, what are you thinking about? No, really, what are you thinking about? In fact, how often do you even think about what you are thinking? Neuroscience tells us we have between 35 and 48 thoughts per minute, which translates to 50,000 to 70,000 thoughts per day. These thoughts guide our behaviors throughout the day, including choices about how we go to work, what we listen to on the radio, what are we gonna have for lunch, who do we speak to on our way to lunch, etc. Perhaps what's most amazing is that these thoughts, as they guide our behaviors, do it without us even knowing it. In other words, we're often operating on cruise control. Sometimes that works out well. Other times, our thoughts can have negative and unintended consequences. And that's what we're going to spend the next few minutes exploring. Hi, I'm Dr. Brenda J. Allen, professor of communication and author of the book, Difference Matters, Communicating Social Identity. As a professor of communication, looking at difference matters through my teaching, research, consultations, and engaging with others in a wide variety of contexts, I've been especially excited at the newer developments of looking at how our brains influence ways that we communicate. Implicit bias is a psychological term that refers to ways that our unconscious and automatic thoughts can influence our behaviors. Sometimes our unconscious thoughts are about other people. Now we've been taught that some groups are superior and some are inferior. And those unconscious thoughts about those people can lead us to what I call thinking under the influence. When we are not aware that we're thinking under the influence or TUI, we may make unfair decisions in favor of or against someone based only on their group identity because of stereotypes about their group. TUI, left unchecked, can inhibit including others, which can then deny us the richness that diversity brings to our lives. Research about implicit bias suggests that employers may be thinking under the influence when they look at resumes. For example, as they look at names, they may associate them with gender, race, nationality, and unconsciously make decisions for members of the dominant group and not for those for the non-dominant group. We can catch ourselves and others thinking under the influence by being mindful as we interact with others. We should pay attention to our thoughts and our feelings. We can be aware of when we realize that we've assumed something negative about somebody based on that person's identity. That's a sign of TUI. For example, I was once on a panel with a wheelchair user who has a hearing impairment. As she was presenting, she made several witty comments that had us all laughing. I realized that I was TUI because I assumed that she would have a gloom and doom attitude because of her disabilities. If we want to work and learn and live and play in places that are equitable, we must be aware of how we TUI. So let's keep the dialogue going about thinking under the influence.